What's up, everybody? Welcome into the latest edition of the Leadership Library, hosted by author of the book, Tighten the Lug Nuts, Rocky Romanella. Rocky brings over 40 years of business experience as a high-level executive and CEO to the podcast to help you find your leadership aha moment. So if you're looking to become a better leader for your team or organization, grab a notebook and a pencil and get ready for the next edition of the Leadership Library. Welcome to the Leadership Library. I'm your host, Rocky Romanello. We've talked about the f- putting out fires phenomenon and its four causes. So far, we've covered micromanagement, poor time management, and the priority problem. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about this organized leadership. Before we do that, got an email about the priority problem. And the question was, very good question, I thought, and uh, I think it's one that we should all consider at some point. If I have a set of priorities based on the goals and responsibilities I've been asked to achieve in the organization, and now you're taking me off those priorities, should I have a conversation with my boss? And the answer is yes. I think you need to sit down because that changes the priorities and that changes your ability to execute on those goals that they set out. I think you do it in the appropriate way. You sit down, you have that conversation. But yes, I think you should have that conversation because you've set your priorities. And if you're a a good leader who has set good priorities and understand the things that you're focusing in on. I think that's so important for you to have that conversation because what you're going to really be asking them in that conversation is which one of these priorities that we agreed to, do you want me to place on the side to fulfill the needs you just asked me to do? So great question. Thanks. Let's talk about the disorganized leadership. You know, leaders set the tone from the top. A disorganized leader often causes the people in their care to be disorganized. I think you have to take responsibility for that as a leader. Messages become confusing. They become contradictory. So employees or people in your care begin to feel out of control and often lose motivation and momentum. Laying the groundwork for this fire to form. I think that question that was asked about the priority problem is a good example, right? They've laid the groundwork for the things that they want to accomplish and now you're, you're telling them you still want those same things accomplished, but now I've prioritized things differently. I'm disorganized. So now I need you to work on these two things and that thing. I think it starts the fire of confusion and, and you're now you're upset because now you've been asked to do more things than you think you personally can. So you got to have that conversation. Look, it may not always be easy, but, but consider sitting down as a leader with each member of your team and asking them if and how the way I'm organizing the work, the way I'm setting priorities could be affecting them and what they can do and what I can do better as a leader to be more, more organized. That doesn't mean you're a weak leader. It doesn't mean that, you know, you're not organized or that you're not in control. It just means that you're always looking to get better yourself. The way you want them to always be trying to get better, the way you want them to be the best, the brightest, the most informed, the best educated Well, you want that same for yourself. And that's leadership by example. That's setting the tone from the top. I think this is a testament to your, to your desire as a leader to improve. And it can only help you proactively get in front of the problem. For example, if a team member notes that you often don't answer emails in a timely manner, and you know, you have a disorganized inbox with hundreds of unread emails, you can set a weekly meeting with this team member to ensure that they get the needed answers on time. It's important, it's important to know that even as leaders, we all have our flaws in the workplace, but we can accept our shortcomings. It's how we deal with them that shows our true character. It shows who we are, what we stand for, and what are the things that we won't compromise. We won't compromise the success of our organization, but more importantly, the success of our people that lead to the success of our organization. So don't... Sh- believe it's weakness because you've had these conversations with your people. Don't be that disorganized leader until we meet again on the leadership library podcast. Be safe and have a great week. Thank you for listening to this edition of the leadership library. If you want to get in on the action, head to tighten the lug nuts.com or shoot an email to Rocky Romanella at gmail.com. And Rocky will answer your question on one of the next episodes. And until then, remember, the pace of the leader determines the pace of the pack. Thank you for listening.